Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our creative family. If you want to be notified when I upload new videos, hit that notification bell as well. In today's video, I want to do another backdrop. What a surprise, right? And this one, I wanted to make easy and fun for you guys. If you want to see how I did this backdrop and what's going on, then stay tuned and let's get to it. I have all of my supplies here. I have my yellow tissue paper, brown tissue paper. I'll need some scissors and fishing line. So my yellow paper came in this size already. Uh, so the size of the yellow tissue paper is 19 and a half by 15 inches. I decided not to cut anything and keep this tissue paper the size that it came in. My brown paper came in big pieces of tissue papers. I cut my brown paper into 10 inches by 15 inches. How many layers of tissue paper do I have? For yellow uh, color, I have seven uh, pieces of paper. For my brown tissue paper, I have three layers of papers. Next thing is lay your brown tissue paper right in the middle of your yellow tissue paper and start folding your tissue paper in fan-like folds. Make sure this stays right in the middle and fold your tissue paper. Not too big of a fold, but enough to see the folds. So something like that. And then what I do is I hold my brown tissue paper and I flip it. Fold it again, flip it again, and then make sure it's laying straight. As soon as your brown paper fold it once into yellow, it will be a lot easier. For your next step, you will be spreading your folds just a little bit enough to take out the brown paper keep the folds together and round your edges with your yellow tissue paper hold the folds cut our ends into these pointy leaves. When you're done cutting, spread your folds and lay down your brown tissue paper right in the middle of your yellow paper. Fold it together. And make sure the brown paper is in the middle. Fold your paper in half to make sure you have the middle of your flower. Grab some fishing line or any type of a string and I'm going to tie my tissue paper right where I made that middle fold. Next step is very easy but it needs to be done really carefully because I was practicing on my first uh, sunflower and I pulled this tissue paper way too hard and I ripped some of the layers so it doesn't look too good. So be careful, gently uh, pull layer by layer 
upwards to the middle and you will have a really nice and pretty flower. Finally finished with all of my sunflowers. It took me quite some time to make them uh, and my back was killing me at the end of this. Let's make our backdrop. I will be pinning my, all of my sunflowers to the fabric with these pins with pearls on top. I get a lot of questions about these pins. I bought mine at my local uh, Walmart also. I ordered some on eBay. So how am I going to do this? Instead of pinning through one layer of tissue paper, I will be pinning through several. Um, probably I'll try to go with three because tissue paper um, is very light. And when I pin through one uh, layer of tissue paper, it will rip and we will ruin our sunflowers. So we'll go through three layers of tissue paper. Just like that. And then we're ready to pin. And then at the end, I'm going to fluff all of the layers and make it look really nice and pretty. I am done pinging all of my sunflowers. I made 56 uh, sunflowers and I used every single sunflower that I made. To make all of these sunflowers, I used four packs of yellow tissue paper. One pack had 100 sheets of paper, so overall 400 sheets of yellow tissue paper and one pack of brown tissue paper for the middle and that pack had a hundred uh, sheets as well. I almost used every single sheet of uh, brown tissue paper. I still have a little bit left but for 56 sunflowers you would need one pack of brown tissue paper. I pinned everything on a pin with a pearl on top and what I learned here is that three layers of uh, tissue paper will hold your sunflower, but some will rip. So if you can, uh, pin through as many layers of tissue paper as you can so the sunflower can stay more securely on your backdrop. All right, you guys, so let me know what you guys think about this video. Do you think it's uh, achievable and it's easy to make? Let me know, and if you have any questions, also comment down below. I'll be there to help and chat with you guys. Every single item, every um, item that I bought, how much I bought it for, I will link in the description down below. So if you're interested in that kind of information, just go ahead and check it out. I will see you back very soon. Bye-bye.